Right then, so starting grid then for Senior X30. Alice Bridge here on row number one with Miles uh, Nathaniel James uh, with Mackenzie Stevens and Thomas Reddy on row two. Tyler Reed and Lucas Ellingham on row three with Brandon Mitchell and Harrison Pugh on row four. Hugo Gilbert and Remy Gilbert on row five with Louis Johnson Cool and Sam Shaw on row six. Alex Johnson and Jordan Brown on row seven with Zane Maloney and Drake Janssen on row eight. Sam Heading and Jensen Buckingham on row nine with Harry Torpy and Oliver Henwood on row ten rounding up the top 20. Benjamin Southgate and Vishal Patel on row uh, 11 with Harvey Ryby and Alex Moody on row 12. Daniel Hackett and Juden Ferenho on row 13. Finley Harrison and Kieran Gohill on row 14 with Thomas Fleming and Ben McDowell on row 16 with Stefan uh, Botsadikev on row 17, all on his own, at the back of the room, 34th place. But you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? And I had to whiz through that grid quick because yeah, they're, uh, they're already <laughs> up there, but I guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee it's going to be a false start. Yeah, they don't look like they're quite close enough for it not to be a false start. Also, we said, actually, they're, they're squeezing up pretty well through this final corner, so we could be okay to go here. We could be okay. There we yeah. go. Look, at, look who squeezed what? it out. Quickly. First one that's going to go first time. Look at that. Look at that green flag out. Good start. It was a good start from the inside row. The outside row didn't get a good start there. I think dropping back quite a ways there. Uh, oh, we got four drivers off. Yep, four drivers off. Uh, two, three of them get back onto the circuit. One driver a lot slower uh, in the back. So he did make a lot of contact with the barrier, to mm. be fair. So I think that might be a bit of a nose cone penalty for him. Which is frustrating, rubbing salt in the wound, having a crash, and then getting a penalty. My oh, yeah, it is suboptimal, <laughs> really, isn't it? There we go. I would agree with you, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Try and get as many suboptimals as I can out uh, as we go through. Someone make a suboptimal compilation. <laughs> exactly. Sam Shaw going through, the premium casting driver as well. Uh, you can see him gaining a few places there. We'll find out the order as they cross the line, though, uh, as they go through. Because, again, a lot of chopping and changing on the first lap, and uh, lots have happened. So... Uh, Ellis Bouchier crosses the line, takes first place uh, from Miles and Nathaniel James, Lucas Ellingham, Louis Johnson, Cool, Remy Gilbert, Alex Johnson, Zane Maloney, Sam Shaw, Jordan Brown, and Sam Heading, the top 10 at the moment. This is the battle, I think, at the 58 front. leading these. Yeah, it's the 58 yeah. and the 28, but it's the 33 oh. on my screen. Oh, and we've got the 23 off. Ah, that is Stefan uh, there <laughs> off the circuit, and that is a broken track rod uh, that car goeth no further yes. uh, and that is a huge shame for the only novice driver that we've got out there which is uh, a big shame to get that car fixed and get it back out on track chin up lad uh, come back a little bit later on and uh, give it another go uh, five and a half minutes to go then as they end lap number two uh, we start lap three Ellingham now leads uh, has taken the lead there from uh, Bruce here. Uh Johnson cool into third as they go through, the 61 of Louis Johnson called diving down the inside. They're holding on to that one. Uh, Nathaniel James, who I think there is also running. Oh, dear. The 55, Ben McDowell, into the pit lane. So, uh, busy start on that one. Yes. Let's have a look at what happened at the start of the, that one. Uh, potentially uh, coming together, these four drivers who went off. Uh, potentially, one of those was Zane Maloney. Uh, potentially one of those was Ben McDowell, we've just seen we in go. the pit lane. So as they come onto the exit, you can just see that it's, uh, oh yeah, four, yep. four into one, don't go. Um, and uh, yeah, the, it was just the, the squeezing effect. Yep. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, that's, uh, that's what happens. Is, uh, is that a move for the lead? It is Lucas Ellingham back up into the lead? Yeah. Uh, on the 28, though, is that is that a leader? No, that's about Marker, isn't it? That's Brandon down in 32nd. Uh, so maybe yes. he has rejoined afterwards. So Lucas... Maintaining the lead and siding through the back markers already, even though we've got four minutes to go. But obviously, with the big crashes that we've seen earlier on the race, quite understandable they might already be at, uh, at the back markers. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so we'll keep a close eye on that one as they go through four minutes. And I was going to say with Lucas Ellingham, luckily I didn't before the race, so I definitely would have commentators cursed him, that he was one to watch out because we thought that there was no one here in any race that won the championship last year. Lucas is one of them. Oh, Lucas Won at the X30 Senior Championship last year with three final wins and three final P2s. There you go. Uh, pretty, pretty dominant. And as we can see, he's continuing that on into 2022, leading this heat, the heat number two for the X30 Seniors. Yes, indeed. Running that uh, JDR car, the Jack Deck Racing uh, cart as well. 
uh, Jack here this weekend and uh, joined us actually for the announcement of the Tillotson T4 uh, eSports uh, announcement between Alpha Live and Tillotson. Uh, he had a go in the Tillotson T4 car around here and he said he loved it. So uh, there we go. Good words there from a uh, top lad, top lad, a mechanic. He's all right. Uh, there we go, three minutes to go. <laughs> and as they go through, Ellingham leads from Johnson Cool. Uh, here down into third. Nathaniel James, Gilbert Shaw, Johnson Torpy heading. Brown, the top ten. The Chapatel, it's Moody, Rogers, Southgate, Hackett. Support on the stream for Hackett. Uh, Harvey Ryby, Brooks, Jen Harrison Pugh. His brother Jensen Pugh, who unfortunately had that accident here at Wilton Mill, where he's, uh, he broke his femur, and uh, we wish him well, and uh, hopefully he's on a swift recovery, and we see him back later this year. Hopefully, maybe, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, it'll be good to see him back in a cup. He's a quick old lad, is uh, Jensen Pugh. Um, Finley Harrison's still there, 19th place from Oliver Henwood, Jensen Buckingham, uh, Jake Nagasawa. Uh, in 22nd place, Thomas Reddy, uh, Tyler Reeky and Gohill, Mackenzie Stevens running at the top 26. And as they go through the 61, so that's second place, yeah. And I think the 28, Brandon Matchell, I'm not sure if he's just not clocked up on one lap because he's a lap down, but he's, he's not letting people pass. He's not getting blue flags. No, I, I that think, is true. I think Brandon is actually our second place driver. He was our he second place driver. I think he's now our third place driver. He did start in P7, so yeah. that would make sense that he's up near that end of the, uh, that end of the field. Yeah, so I think he's just uh, he's, he's lost a lap in timing there. Mm. So I think uh, the timing uh, he will sort that out. Yeah, because he was down near the bottom, then he jumped back up, and now he's dropped back down again. So yeah, I think more of a timing issue. I'm with you on that one. As there's two drivers round near the boot. Is that the 64 who's round? I think that's the 54. The 54 of is Remy it? Gilbert. Yes, I'm not. I didn't see what, who the driver was that was off on the grass. Who was rejoining? We'll see if anyone anyone else can start to drop down the order. Yeah, I didn't quite see it. Harrison Pugh is down four. Possibly could have been him, but I don't want to. I don't want to stipulate over something that might be incorrect. As we look back to nearer the front, ah, there you go. That's the 54 of Remy. Got restarted, but has to come back in the pits. That steering column didn't look exactly straight, but that might have just been the uh, the cover, yeah, rather than the actual steering column itself. Yeah, yeah the NASA panel there, uh, probably covering it up. But so uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Less than a minute to go then. And uh, just say, yeah, yeah, you go down the inside there, Harry Ooh. Torpy, and there's a car in a barrier, and that goeth no further. It's the 68, was that, I think? It definitely was, but I can't see that on the timing screen. Uh, yes, I can. can. It's Harrison Pugh, so Harrison Pugh goeth no further, uh, and he's in the barriers there. That looked like the exit of uh, Oblivion and Crook. I think so, yeah. So, uh, obviously, a very fast part of the circuit, and very easy to get it wrong there, and, um, it, you know, it takes a lot of skill to get it through there, like, perfectly and uh, these drivers do that each and every lap but for s sometimes it, it's such a fine line of getting it perfect and getting it so wrong and yes. uh, yeah it is a very tough corner and uh, unfortunately that time around Harrison Pugh uh, came a cropper there and into the barrier 10 seconds to go then Ellingham leading by 1.8 seconds at the moment from Johnson Cool the battle that you can see on circuit uh year also there in that group you can see there the 58 uh, but of course, uh, Brandon Matchell, I think, is in that group. So, yeah, don't write out that 28. Even though on the timing screens he's down in 27th, I believe he is right there in third place. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that one as they go through. Uh, but last lap board will be out this time around. And down the inside there goes Premium Karting's 18, Sam Shaw. And gets that move done, moves up into P4 now. Yes. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to work that out. Now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got to do some maths to, to work that out because we're missing a driver in that top, uh, yeah. top four. Um, last lap board is out, and uh, Ellingham, looking comfortable at the moment, has taken another two tenths of a second out of Johnson Cool. Uh, that gap now up to 1.6 seconds as they go through. Uh, Stefan is uh, back out on circuit, I believe. Well, no, he stayed out on. Yeah, yeah I think like it looks like he's coming to the pit, and so it looks like we've lost a couple of drivers in this one. And Sam Shaw, surely not, is diving down the inside there of the 28 of Brandon Matchell, moving now up into P3. Yes. Um, so, again, working that out. But eyes on Ellingham, the 99 takes the chequered flag. Johnson Cool crosses with second place from Sam Shaw. Zane Maloney crosses the line, apparently the 29, actually, so it might not be 
uh, Brandon Matchell. Could be the 29 of Zane Maloney because he crossed the line about the time of that gap. So we'll have to try and work that one out and we'll get the uh, revised results later on. So apologies if we were calling that wrong. Uh, Ellis uh, Rouchier crosses the line in fourth place from uh, Miles Nathaniel James, Sam Heading, Harry Torpy, Vishal Patel, Alex Moody, Jordan Brown, Alex Johnson, Harvey Riley, Kristen Brooks, Jamie Rogers, Finley Harrison, Tyler Reed, Benjamin Southgate, Daniel Hackett, Oliver Henwood, Vincent Buckingham, Thomas Reddy, Jake Yanagatawa, uh, Hugo Gilbert, Mackenzie Stevens, Kian Gohill, Brandon Matchell, Drake Janssen, and Harrison Pugh. Finishing in 28th place, Drew Ferenho, Remy Gilbert, Zane Malone, Thomas Fleming, Ben McDowell, and Stefan Bott. Uh, and yeah, there. Finishing and rounding out the results. Not of the head there from Ellingham. No scone watch. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in. Good for the race leader. We didn't stop at the line. It's good for Sam Shaw. And is it good for Johnson Cool? It's good for Johnson Cool. So I think our top three, four are all all good, but I'm not actually sure what order they finished in because yeah. uh, I think we were missing one from that uh, position. It's definitely the 28. It was that definitely I the 28. It's definitely the 28 that so I can see there. So that's Brandon Matchell, but the 29, Zane Maloney, crossed yeah. the line with that top group. He did, uh, he and, did. He, and there was no back markers uh, involved in that one. So uh, but potentially it could have been, could, might not have been. There's the 29 just, just behind yeah. the Lando Norris cart. But uh, yeah, we'll have to look at that one afterwards. We'll, we'll figure that one out yeah, exactly. later on. Yeah, there we go. But Nose Cone Watch looking comfortable at the moment. There you can see. Uh, you can see Darren Clark is the the chief scrutineer yeah, today in his, uh, his black puffer jacket looking. Uh, I didn't realise that the Lando Norris there. carts were self driving as well. That was very impressive. Oh. Driving themselves down the pit lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well. The, the, the small angry man you see who does the, the nose cone pedal. He, he does have a name. <laughs> oh, he's is about to be angry at the 71. Oh, no. Oh, Harvey Ryby. And you can you can understand. I mean, he's got quite a nice indent yes. uh, in the in the front there. and uh, But he's got a smile on his face, which is the That's most good. important thing. You know, That's it's good. It's, it's the one thing I think a lot of drivers, people forget, is enjoy karting. Senior X30 is done. Senior